In this video, we're going to show you the commissions tab that is unlocked now, it seems, for more market centers. So I'm here inside of an opportunity, and you can check out previous videos on how to do an opportunity. And in order to unlock the commissions tab, see how it's grayed out? We have to actually deal with the offer side for now. So we're going to say add new offer, and I'm just going to leave it generic. And I actually don't have to put much detail here for this to work. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go ahead and say that we're closing maybe end of next month. You can select from KDBLS. This is new for buyers. So I'm going to look up an address, North Ocean Boulevard. And the goal of this is just to have the property linked. So I'm going to select this one. And then your parties, you don't have to type everything in. Your buyer is already in here. In this case, this is a buyer opportunity. So I'm going to do the seller name. We'll just be the Smith family. Nothing else is required. This is actually the listing agent for that listing. And we're going to go to terms. And just for this example, we'll go ahead and give it a cash offer of, uh, to do, do, there we go, uh, 650. And I'm just going to leave it alone like that. So you don't have to do the analysis, but you do have to have an offer in order to accept it so that you can then unlock the commissions tab. So the commissions tab doesn't unlock unless you have an offer and it's been accepted. So I'm going to accept the offer and look at it spinning here. Now I've unlocked the commissions tab. So when I come to the commissions tab, now it's missing the contract date, so it needs that first. And here's how this works. I've got my sale price commission. That came from the offer. Contract date, we'll go ahead and say it is today, which is the 8th. Closing date is coming for the 21st of February. On the right hand side, you've got your summary so far, the total commission, how much is paid to royalty, how much will be paid to company dollar, how much do I get as the agent, and how much my office be taking out of the commission check. Now, you can add a co-broker payment if you have more than one. If you're doing a co-broker here, you can enter in some more information. Um, we'll go into more detail with this later, but this is great for uh, referrals. Notice it's got the tax ID and different things there. So I've got my agent breakdown now. This is already set to a one and the total commission. And you'll see here it's got the royalty rate at 6%. And here it will show my cap, how much I've already paid, and what's the balance. Then it's going to show here my um, market center cap, 20000 the actual, and then what's my balance. So this is going to show me as I go forward in real time where we're at in our commission. So this one is actually going to take me quite farther uh, because of these bigger check. <laughs> then you've got your deductions. So E&O is here. KW Cares. Um, I did find when I hit the submit button, it also asks you if you want to donate. So in case an agent forgot to do this part or didn't want to, it will give them a second opportunity to add something. Now you do have the option to add items at the bottom left of this. So things are here like a bonus. Are you getting a bonus and do you split it with the market center? Are you getting a concession? Do you, do you have a concession and it'll ask you, is this on the seller's closing statement off the top and is the market center paying? So that would be concessions, your deductions. So you can add that of any deductions with tax ID and different things here. Then you've also got your inside referral. This will search through Keller Williams to find an inside referral. So if I had a, let's just say a $2,000 referral to, uh, this will work for the market center specifically. So I'm in Fort Lauderdale, so I will give it to uh, Dave Gervais. And there he is. So this is cool to look at internal referrals and you can add that. You've also got outside referrals. Now this is great because this will help us get more information from the agent. So how much are we doing referral fee? Let's say 25%. And then I need their EIN number and tax ID for this to work. So it'll remind our agents to go get that information. What is the broker name? What's the agent name, their address and phone number? That way they can actually add that referral right from here. Now I know some of the things that we have um, is what if we are splitting the payment? So like normal, this unit can't be one. So if I do 0.5, okay, now here's the only downside of that 0.5. It didn't do the math for me. So I'm gonna have to figure out some of this math. I know we're submitting feedback and again, we're in labs for this. So my portion would be 9750. 
There we go. And then if you come here, you can now add a second agent. So this unlocks once you have that less than a one. So I can look for an agent here. So I'm going to say, uh, let's say I'm doing it with Lori Bergman in my market center. I can add her to this. I will give this a 0.5. 0.5. There you go. And 9750. There we go. It made the math work. So we will work on getting that to auto calculate, but for now you do have to do it manually. But there I've got a 0.5 to me and then a 0.5 to another agent, or maybe you're doing the productivity coaching program, you can make that 0.25, whatever it is. It's your ability now to break it up and split it up. On the right hand side, you've also got a summary telling me this is open. I can add a note. So please review something like that so that there's a note here as well. You could edit the note and delete the note. And if everything looks good, you can click the submit button. And this will ask you, do you want to donate to KDB Cares? And I also can ask on the behalf of my co-op agent. So I'm going to say no at that time and no at this time for me as well and apply. So I like the fact that we're now also asking again about KDB Cares. Just a great opportunity to help contribute to the Market Center. So now it's been submitted and your commission is under review by your Market Center. So that's how the agents are going to do this. They need an offer first. They have to accept an offer in order to access the commissions. Now I'm doing this for a buyer. Same thing happens with the seller. So now I'm going to show you what the market center sees. So if I come to the command MC for market centers and opportunities, you have in the middle here commission requests. So we've got one new one and I'm going to switch to my Fort Lauderdale location. Here's some new sort items. That's exciting. Total commission closes closing soonest, closing latest, sale price, contact A to Z, opportunity ID A to Z. So these are some new sort tools, which will be great. Okay, so I'm going to review this now, and it's going to take me to the commissions tab, and now I get to look at this to make sure, is this all good? And I can approve it or return it. And obviously, I don't really want to approve it because this is a live system, even though we're in labs. So I'm actually going to return it. Reason for return, uh, missing info. So just like your opportunities, this will tell me that it's been returned, it's been submitted back, and now if the agent comes into the system, uh, I thought so, they're going to get an alert inside of command telling their commission request for this has been returned, and I have to click here to go to the details as the agent to see why was it returned. Your MC has rejected it for the following reason, missing information, right? So obviously be more specific than that. But I love that this is operational and that we're getting here and that this is the future as we go forward. So this is just the first attempt at making this video. Hopefully this helps the market centers who have access to start to learn what to do with this and our agents that want to see what the next evolution of this process is. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on YouTube or KDB Connect today.